Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another GTA 5 mod tutorial. Hope everyone's doing good. Today we're going to be installing Franklin's new face V4 update redone 4.0. This mod is going to be by Jack Frost. Appreciate you. Uh, first and foremost, go ahead and read the description. Uh, look at the change logs, anything specific we need. Looks like the only thing we're going to be needing for this is just our open IV. So go ahead and go to the current version, download that, extract it, and then let's go ahead and get into the installation. All right, so now once we open up the extracted file and open IV, got our instructions we have here, installation file, and we can come over to our open IV, go into edit mode, and then let's go ahead and follow the path, mods, that's right, we're gonna need our x64v file. And we can tell this right over here. Go ahead and click on it. And then go ahead and click show and fold mods folder. Go ahead and let that load. It might take a little bit, but once you're done, just come back to this spot and then we'll just continue. Go ahead to um, x64v models, see the images and then find stream bed uh, player rpf and then player one that's going to be franklin all right once we have found the path you can go ahead and if you'd like to install the blonde just do that one solo i found that when you install both of them the high fade and the medium they're not all blonde, so they actually cover up the blonde hair. So if you'd like the high fade and medium fade, do those. you could do those combined. But if you only want the blonde, which is what we're going to do for the purpose of this tutorial, just go ahead and double click the uh, blonde hair and then look for the head diff in your uh, folder in OpenIV. Just so when we put it in there, we can actually see that it's changing. And it looks like it is right here. So I already have mine in. As you can tell, it's because it's 11,000 uh, kilobytes. That's how that is. Um, but yeah, you go ahead and take it, drag it, drop it, and you'll know it's input, input in. And then it would be the same thing for your high fade and medium fade. If you were going to do this and you want to back up your files, also remember to just drag and drop them. Here's A, B, and C for each one of the hairstyles. I just dragged them over to my um, desktop and then I was going to put them in here, call them originals. And then just throw them in this folder. So now if you ever want the original files, they're right there. You don't have to worry about something's messed up or his haircut won't come back. I mean, I don't think you'll really want the old face, but just in case you need it, at least the extra files are there. Or the original files, I should say. And then that's actually it. You can go ahead and launch the game and get into it. All right, guys, once we're loaded in, go ahead and go to our uh, trainer. Go to our player, our wardrobe, go to the components, and your head. Now, this is going to be your texture. Go ahead and move it over, and there we go. All new retexture for Frank. Let me know in the comments if you had any uh, struggles or if you need any help. If it did help you, go ahead and share any of your friends that uh, do GTA 5 mods. Like and subscribe, turn on the notifications. Be live streaming soon. Uh, and for future tutorials. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.